There's so many vehicles in GTA that cost too much, that are really affordable, but these are vehicles that are free. And nearly all these vehicles you can't get on the website now. So the only chance of actually getting them is finding them on the street. So not only are these vehicles free, they're also quite rare too. And there's one in particular on the list that is very, very rare. Hopefully you enjoy the video. The Shafter, a puzzling one to actually put on the list because to be fair, the Shafter B12 is only 116K. So why not just buy it? And I agree, you should 100% buy that car over this car but the fact that the shafter b12 is so popular again way better car way faster the normal shafter doesn't get used or doesn't even get looked at just because it's not the option to have but which does make a lot of sense the normal shafter is a more tame option you get bumpers that you can't get on the shafter b12 because the shafter b12 is supposed to be a more aggressive version which makes sense I mean, you get grill options that you can't get on the Shafter V12. And yeah, this is more for the people who just want the tame, more luxury version of the car, which the car is. The Bison. Shall I speak about this? I don't know because I mentioned it in so many videos. The fact that it's free is such a big bonus because I tell people to get this car anyway because it's fun. I mean, temporarily, it'll wow your friends. And to be fair, it's a pickup that we, we don't get pickups in the game anymore that can actually tow anything. But you can customize this and then you can go find something to tow on the street and it will tow those little utility carts or the bolts not actually tow anything. But the reason you should get this car is not because of the modifications, not because it can tow, because of the glitch which a lot of people have probably seen on my channel it still works to this day you just have a friend in the driver's seat of the car and if you sit in the back and go on the interaction menu hover over an action press x and triangle at the same time you select on the action and then get out of the vehicle at the same time so that's on xbox a and y and then you get out and you start hovering and then if you want to move around you have to look at something or lock onto something and you move around that way and then when you let go it just hovers again very weird very strange but fun as well now, last time I made one of these videos, I put this vehicle as a thumbnail and it's a Premier. This Premier is a vehicle obviously nobody gets. Like, why would you get this vehicle? But it's a pedestrian vehicle that actually does have bumper modifications, exhaust modifications, spoiler modifications, skirts. It actually has quite a few modifications as a standard car. But again, that is not why you should get this car. This car still looks very pedestrianized. It's because how slammed it can get. Once you slam this car, it looks like a totally different car. It does not look like a pedestrian car anymore. And you will puzzle people. People will be like, what is that car? Even though they see it drive past every day, they don't see it in this format. Therefore, you will have a unique vehicle. The Phoenix, such a classic car. I can't believe when you actually look at the list of cars for sale in GTA Online, you start to wonder why the Phoenix is even free. Especially if you're new to GTA Online, like, the Phoenix looks like a vehicle that should be definitely paid for. You can get some moderate modifications to it. You can make this car stand out. It's got options that other muscle cars have that cost like 400,000. It's actually quite fast in the game. It does wheelies well. You get a bit grateful that Rockstar actually added wheelies to all muscle cars in the game instead of only adding it to new vehicles and making that like a cash cow, which seems to be the norm with everything in GTA Online now. It actually sounds so good, but then again, which muscle car in GTA does not sound good? I love that sporty muscle car kind of feeling, and yeah, it looks good as well. And if you want to slam it, you can. I know a lot of people will be against it, but this car does have some good fitment too. The Oracle XS. Now, I do compare this with the Shafter B12 just because of the speed and how quick this vehicle is. To be fair, it's not as fast as Shafter B12, it doesn't get that top speed but it accelerates there really quickly. This has the performance of a lot of sports cars beating a lot of sports cars. And I think that's where the surprise stops because it doesn't really have much modifications. In fact, it doesn't really have any modifications. Again, a lot of these first gen cars, you can lower them by shooting and they look really good. But a car that looks classy, different, you can get for free. The BJ, this is a weird one, it's definitely yeah weird i wouldn't recommend this but but i have to it's so rare so uncommon i've never actually had this in gt online this is the first time i've owned it in gt online and i actually had to store it in my garage i was like okay i'm gonna bring this out for the next off-road car meet that i do but let me know in the comment section do you own this have you ever owned this car in gt online because the spawn is rare as well the spawn is not that common and now the fact that you know cars have been deleted you won't see this on the road. You won't see any other player owning it. 
because you can't buy it. So I saved it in my garage for the next off-road meet because I know nobody's going to bring this. But now that I mention it, someone probably will. And yeah, that's it. Literally, just how uncommon it is, is the reason that I'm putting it on the list. The only options you really have for modifying it is adding the winch and the fog lights on there. And the roof rack and making it more of an off-road build. You want a vehicle that's rare and you will hardly ever see. Pick this. It was so different that when I was driving it, it just looked so alien to me. The Fugitive, you're probably confused at why this is on the list. Another vehicle that is so pedestrianized. But when you start listening to the sound, you start realizing why it's on the list and how good it sounds and how throaty it sounds, how choppy. Unsurprisingly, it has no modifications, but that sound makes up for it. It's on the best sounding cars list. A lot of people think this looks like the B7 RS4. Uh, a tiny bit with the arches, but I do not think so. But well, sometimes if you're in GTA and you just like Tintony, you just like a good sound. This car is so slow that all you could admire is the sound. The Sentinel. The Sentinel which you could actually take the hardtop off. So in my previous video, I recommended the Sentinel XS. And the Sentinel actually for a long time was my favorite car in GTA Online. When GTA came out, the first few years, the Sentinel was my favorite car. And just the way it looked, the way it sat, the way you could stance it, which doesn't make sense because you've got less modifications for this vehicle. And I'll add my old video, garage tour video here. I had this same spec, this LSC green Sentinel for so long, I still have it to this day. All you had to do to, with that is really lower it. And look beautiful. There's a weird thing about the Sentinel, it doesn't look like a hard top until you actually take the roof off and then you realize it's a hard top. The mechanism is really cool, like a few cars. And yeah, you can't add new modifications like you can with the XS, but this car is just more sleek and subtle. The Xeon, the Zion, the Zion XS. And you're probably thinking, hello, there's no such thing as a Xeon XS or a Zion XS. Well, if you look at the badging on the back of this, this was actually supposed to be the Xeon XS. And I'm guessing the Cabrio, just like the Sentinel, was supposed to be the normal Xeon. But for some reason in GTA, it's just called the Xeon, both of them. Now, this car can be found in West Vinewood. It's actually one of the more rare spawns. And I suggest this car a lot. I mean, first of all, it doesn't even look like a free car. It used to be one of the best round track and that only being take overtaken a couple years ago. I mean, it looks good. You can get the topless variant, like I said. And when it comes to modifications, you have a few like the spoiler, carbon roof. You can change the hood, the bonnet, just like a lot of older cars like the Sentinel and the LG. You had that roll cage option, which will change the seats. It is a first gen car, but it was an all in one modification. And yeah, I think it is odd and different looking at this car as well. The classic Sultan. I mean, the Sultan, it's it's very it's a very obvious choice, let's be fair. Like I don't think any of you were watching this video and you didn't have the Sultan in mind. But the Sultan, now whenever anyone gets it, they just Benny it because they can. And to be fair, Benny's is a good option, it's not even that much money. But everyone forgets the original OG GTA 4 Sultan RS. That model, you can nearly make the exact same, minus the exhaust, you can make the exact same spec in GTA 5. Now, if you want nostalgia, if you actually want GTA heritage, then you can customize the Sultan to become the Sultan RS from GTA 4. And again, free, like you can get the Sultan off the street. And then later on, if you do feel like you need to add the Benny's upgrade on, you can. There's only very few cars you can actually put a Benny's upgrade on that you can get off the street. This is one of them. And they are the cars you can get for free. There's actually so many good ones on the list. But please, if you do have any cars in mind that you think everyone should steal off the street, Write it down in the comments and just help people out. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. See you guys in the next one.